They served our country, and you'd hope they'd get the care they deserve. But in one case, the 8 News Now I team is uncovering tonight, a veteran may not have received life saving measures he should have. Vanessa Murphy has this story you only see on 8. Now, we do want to warn you some of the video is disturbing. This is an 88 year old Marine Corps veteran. He's at a VA medical clinic on the east side of Las Vegas on June 7th of last year. This video leaked to the 8 News Now I team because of concerns about how this veteran is treated after a medical episode. We showed the video to neurosurgeon Scott Glickman, who runs his own medical office, and an attorney, Larissa Drahobitzer, who says she has experience in medical malpractice, so they can both weigh in about medical care. And the response time of staff. Here, the veteran is seen struggling and then collapsing. A bystander immediately tries to comfort him. More than 30 seconds later, an officer arrives and appears to call for help. Where's the nursing staff or doctor staff or some tech person? There's a puddle of blood underneath the veteran's head, which gets worse by the minute. Hey, TikTok, it's seeming like a long time already. Two minutes later, this woman, who sources tell the I team is a nurse, arrives. Here comes somebody with a monitor. She's not moving very quickly. She appears to check for a pulse. At three minutes, she removes his mask. Okay, I would have expected maybe somebody to start CPR or some kind of resuscitation. She's saying, get over here. Um, she's got the AED, the defibrillator. Um, there should have been much more fuss much sooner, I would expect. At four and a half minutes. So one person, the lady in blue, finally comes running. She begins CPR, but Dr. Glickman points out no one is delivering air to the patient. There's multiple people around um, that could be helping. How critical is this situation? He is dying. After 11 minutes, the Clark County Fire Department shows up. They assess the patient and do CPR as a team and appear to deliver breaths. It's commendable. The veteran is taken to a hospital and pronounced dead. It's, it's sad. It's, it's emotional that, you know, somebody, you're in a facility where you think that you're going to get medical attention and you think, you know, people are going to run to your rescue and that's just not happening here. You could assume that there would be an older population that would be visiting this clinic and that they would have proper policies and procedures to deal with a medical emergency. The I team sat down with the head of the VA health care system in Southern Nevada. Do you think care was delayed, hands on care to this patient? So, without getting into the details of, of that patient, I, I, I would have to say no. Say what we didn't tell William Karen at the time of this interview is that we have the video. I'd say we, we, we responded accordingly that you would see in any other um, health care clinic of that nature. He says all clinical staff are trained in basic life support and CPR. But he also tells us after this happened, his staff did a refresh on emergency management procedures. I mean, I would think in a medical setting like that, you should be able to get more life saving care. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, unlike a hospital setting, there's no crash cart, there's no code blue response. But as Dr. Glickman points out, air still could have been delivered to the patient sooner. The biggest fail on this is that they did not put oxygen on the patient immediately and they did not uh, deliver breaths for... 10 minutes. Just this morning, after the VA learned we have the video, a spokesman sent a lengthy email stating mistakes were made that led to a delay in initiating basic life support, suggesting the delay was caused in part by a transition of staff and management due to the pandemic. I'm putting the entire statement at 8newsnow.com. Also, the I team tracked down the veteran's family. His daughter tells me they were not aware of any video or delayed care, she asked us not to identify her father, and the family was told he died of a heart attack. We've learned no autopsy was done to help determine an exact cause of death, so we don't know if the delay in care 
contributed to his death. Vanessa Murphy, live, local, now.